Welcome uh, to, hi, Counting welcome Cryptids. to Counting Cryptids. Uh, How are, wow, we were going to try to do a not awkward one this it time. It didn't happen. Uh, I'm Jacob. That's Connor. Hi. Uh, this is season two, episode 11, I believe. Yes. Uh, today we're talking about giants. Yeah, that now you know. I but, mean, you read the you read the episode description, right? Yeah, hopefully. Right? Well, I, I mean, maybe not. Maybe some people like it a surprise. I never read episode descriptions. I like maybe read the name sometimes. Oh, I, I just have like podcasts I that I listen to, sure. and I just like cool click it. Like I just uh-huh. stay up to date with them most of the time. Uh, we have an Instagram poll. Oh yeah, yeah. Before we get into the meat of the episode, you have Live. posted on Instagram right now while we're recording this episode. Are you afraid of giant redheads? Yes or no? Let us know on social media. It's a picture of Jacob standing by a very large door, but he still looks larger. I am, in fact, larger than that door. Jacob is a giant. Thanks for listening to Counting Cryptids. See you in two weeks. I'm I'm tall. Episode 11, I believe. Uh, today we're talking about giant. I mean, you read the you read the episode description, right? I never read episode descriptions. I like maybe read the name sometimes. I just have like podcasts that I listen to and I just like, cool, click it. Like I just stay up to date with them most of the time. Oh yeah. You have posted on Instagram. I am, in fact, larger than that door. I'm, I'm tall. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little bit, a little bit on bit on the t- tall side. I'm not even that tall. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of big. I'm just. I'm like six four. I'm just a little bit on the tall side. I'm not. I would not. I would not describe myself as a giant. Like I look really tall standing next to people that are shorter than me. Like my wife is real short. So <laughs> yes, your wife is shorter. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not I'm not that big. Are you afraid of giant redheads, No. Giant redheads? Uh that's really tall, but I, I just imagine like I feel like people who are that tall are just like in constant pain from like growing all of the time, and they're just like, uh. I saw a clip of some, I don't know if it was like college student or college, like college high school player. He was just like, oops, in the hoop, like super skinny. Like imagine me, but like eight feet tall. Like he's just like. Like oh no! He just towers over the other Damn, side. dude! Damn! Jesus Christ! It's Michael Jordan from Space Jam. Exactly. It was just predicting 2019. Well, real quick, make sure you're following us over on that Instagram. So you can get in on the polls when we are recording uh, episodes. Uh, also, this comes out on the fourth of July. Well, happy fourth of July, America. happy fourth of July, Americans. Uh, we're gonna put another poll uh, on social media this week. We? Yes, we are. It's gonna be what? Is... Fuck, that's what I was gonna go with. Uh, okay, <laughs> got that out. Got that out. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you want to do this now, why why is Bigfoot the most American cryptid? I mean, I suppose. What else you got? Silver demon. Mothman. Uh, I don't know what normal people are. Jackalope? Is that a, that's a pretty American one. Mm. Okay, this is annoying. All right. Uh, I mean, Thunderbird. 
But I don't I suppose Yeah. So I did not realize that was an option. Okay, so we're gonna post a poll all week asking what the most American cryptid is. Uh, what you think the most American cryptid is, and just have a fill in so you can. It'll be on Thursday when the release is. I don't know. We can we can do it earlier. It's not a big deal. It doesn't. It can be up for a week. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's on Facebook. It's just there. It's whatever. But yeah, go let us know on social media what you think the most American cryptid is. Um, do you want to talk about that now, or do you want to wait until the end? Yes. Yeah, we did, but it didn't really. I don't feel like that was is gonna end well with what we had. I feel like we need to re-record it. Maybe I am mistaken. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Fuck it. Let's get into it then. So I guess a giant is like a person, but really, really tall. Like I don't. Is there another way to describe it? Like. It's just someone who is significantly bigger than other people. Uh, I mean, I think that would just kind of be associated with like that for some reason. Uh, sometimes also have an additional digit on each hand and foot if that is appropriate. The way I said it, Connor, he kept getting triggered by the wording of how everybody said that. I don't think it was quite that bad. All right, Connor. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I also saw in a lot of places stuff about like a second row of teeth, yeah, yeah. which is kind of weird and sounds like a nightmare to floss. Uh, yeah, how do you fucking? I oh, okay. No, they'd make a different like flossers that are like f- across and down, so it's like a, a an X or like a cross shape. It is a, a row of teeth, and then behind that, another row of teeth. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Imagine having double braces. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I had that fucking surgery to get my teeth pulled down, so they put chains up in my gum attached to my teeth that were supposed to pull my teeth down. I did not wear a retainer. I still have mine. I just didn't wear it. <laughs> uh, so I, I also wanted to like mention Cyclops, just that Cyclopses are a, a, a race of giants. I don't really have anything else about them, but I did want to mention that them... Yeah, I doubt it from the little bit I looked into it, but maybe someday when we're super desperado, uh, I guess. Also, oh, you know, to shit. Uh, if you've ever seen an elephant skull, they look like they just have one eye, so it kind of looks like a cyclops. I'll have a picture of that in the description as well for some reason. Oh, shout out to Nathaniel for the episode suggestion. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. All right. I mean, what, you just want to get into this and start talking about giants? Oh, yep, yep. What? what? Yeah, I don't have any, like, oh God. Across the globe, but there are stories of giants, people, large. Just in mythology specifically and elsewhere. In the United States of America, interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm also going to throw out there that there is a lot of fake photos. I was going to talk about this later, but there's a lot of fake photos. Real bad. Real bad. I, uh, I got distracted for the first little bit when we were starting to do some research, uh, going off in some YouTube comment sections about some fake videos. I I tried to not get any of that shit in there and was like 
trying to only include things that are like that seemed more legitimate or if they don't like I definitely have a disclaimer before where I'm like uh so about this website some of it that doesn't exist though yeah i guess i as far as like uh the regional mythology i mean this is very spread out not only to the 47 of the 50 yeah, but uh, I guess in in mythology you'd have the Abrahamic. I assume is how you pronounce that. No, Abraham oh, yeah, is like yeah. like Jesus. Uh, Ara- Aramean, Baltic, Basque, Bulgarian, Greek, Hindu, Jain, Native wow. American, uh, J A I N, Norris. Yes. Everybody. Uh, it's it's prevalent in a lot of folklore. So it's it's a widespread thing as well, and most of what I'm talking about is fucking skeletons. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'm at. Like, I didn't go too far down the path of like too much of the giant, like, uh, what are they called? The Nephilim? Nephilim. Like, one, one source I read said that they were like 4,800 feet tall, like a quarter of a mile or some shit. Like, I don't uh, none of the skeletons that I have is uh, is anywhere near that big, but fourteen. Holy shit! I think thirteen and a half was the biggest one I saw. But they were describing it as yards. I'm like, a yard's three feet, right? Okay. Uh, you want to go first? You want me to go first? Uh, the first one I have on here. I don't think I have them organized by date. But I have uh, 1888. <clears throat> All right, so this comes from the St. Paul Pioneer Press on June 29th of 1888. I will have a link to a photo of this article in the description. Uh, a race of giants. Discovery near clear water of the remains of seven persons, each from seven to eight feet high, buried two, 200 years ago. Clearwater Special, June 28th. Charles Pinkerton of the town of Corona, 12 miles from here, in digging for a collar, came across the remains of seven persons in a good state of preservation. They were found in a kind of mound and were buried with their heads down and were from seven to eight feet in height and must have been placed there at least two years ago, as on top of the mound was the stump of an elm tree two feet in diameter. From the formation of the skulls, they must have been an inferior race of men. The teeth in the jawbones were mostly round and not like the teeth. Uh, I, I mean, this is 1888. I feel like that's kind of just like the mentality. I don't know. That sucks. Uh, I had to type all of this off of that, so... There may be some words that aren't 100% correct, and that town name is what it looked like. That's the town I found with a similar name. So, but apparently, it, it, I, in, I had an additional, uh, additionally, because uh, this is in Minnesota, so additional giant skeletons have been found in Minnesota um, at the Beckley Farm in Lake Norris, uh, Minnesota, as well as Moose Island and Pine City. So it's pretty prevalent across the Midwest. I know I'd seen Kansas. Uh, I have a couple from Iowa in here as well. Um, it, eighteen eighty-eight. Wait, on June twenty-ninth, literally today, one hundred and thirty. If I'm not mistaken, hang on. Oh, uh. Pull up a calculator real quick. 2019 minus 1888. It's 131 years ago today. <laughs> Not at all. That's fucking just figuring this out right now. Interesting. All right. What a coincidence. I don't know about that. Okay. You wanna you wanna hit one? Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. No idea. French guy, yeah. And uh, the fragments were of a 
I am about it. That's fine. Oh, I thought we were in America. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, you might have. I was also looking at my notes. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine at editing, so... Anatomists, like anatomy, that would be like the uh, somebody who studies in it. No, 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 no. You said I don't know what that means. So if I'm guessing, they study inanimate objects. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Squirrel. That's fucking crazy. Where big bones go? Is that what you're going to say, Connor? I wasn't going to say that, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> uh, I had a feeling we're talking about big bones. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, they're telling everybody about this uh, fucking show. <laughs> Maybe that should have been the. Are you afraid of big bones? <laughs> that would have been good. Uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go in order of year because I'm also now seeing that I have one. That is before, but I think the one that you just did was 1895 was the date you said at the start. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have 1897 right here from the Nebraska Advertiser. Uh, the, the title of the article was Finding the Skeleton of Giant. Uh, again, there will be a photo of this article in the description. Yes, of course. It is a matter of official record that in digging through a mound in Iowa, the scientists found the skeleton of a giant who, judging from actual measurement, must have stood seven feet six inches tall when alive. The bones crumbled to dust when exposed to air. Around the neck was a collar of bear's teeth, and across the thigh was dozen, were dozens of small copper beads, which may have at once adorned a hunting skirt. The latter were formed by... Ro rolling wire-like strips of metal into little rings. One skull obtained from the mound in Alabama was completely filled with small shells. From a mound in Alabama was completely filled with small shells. I don't know why that one was included in there, but it was for some reason. Uh, yeah, again, that, I have a photo of that too. <sighs> Apparently the bones crumbled to dust immediately, which is hella convenient, but... Uh, you know, it's I mean, like you can tell when you're like dusting them off and shit and then they just kind of fall apart and like you maybe I don't really have a lot in the way of like photos of exactly what I'm talking about. I think only a couple of them. Okay, yeah, hit it. Hit it. Fifty 
to be partial spread rocking. The first is the jaguar of Mama eight foot four inches in height found at San Diego last year in June. The code used to travel with it through California, assuming it reaches her position. The mummy is now in Washington, where the previous owner has been for some time trying to sell it to the Smithsonian Institution. Soon things stood in the way of the sale with the price, and upon this the owner and the institution could not agree. Rossin, who is now Rossin, who is a professional taxidermist and lover of curios, watched the progress of the deal and when he found that there was difficulty, he stepped in and purchased the skeleton in Central City. Rossin has a small fortune invested in curiosities and rare specimens from various sections of the globe. He proposes to put the best of these into a wagon, get the bones of the giant, and traverse California in real, quote, Dime Museum on Wheels style. He expects that the mummy will reach California in May. Unquote. Has a small fortune in... Weird shit. Dude, I love this guy. Let's be real. That's tight. I'm really interested in weird shit. I'm going to buy this and then we're just going to fucking... <laughs> this photo could have been of us. I don't, I don't. If this is eight feet tall, these guys aren't super tall. It would look much less impressive next to somebody slightly taller than them. I don't think they're that tall. Maybe I'm mistaken. Either way, eight feet is fucking tall. I mean, that's not again. There's there's human beings. Is there somebody alive today that's eight feet tall? Oh, well, there's that one guy. Uh, so right now, the tallest living person is eight feet. Uh, 2.8 inches. Sultan Kosin of Turkey, born December 1982. I believe it is, in fact, a regular wow. chair that he is sitting in. Mm-hmm. Zoltan. Those aren't normal people. Those no, those are children. Kids. Normal people. Good fucking God. No, he would be 12 feet tall. <laughs> but that's that that height is not common for the time for sure. This was like eh, way back though in ancient Egypt. Yeah, what fucking year did you have on that? I don't, yeah, I don't know how old they are really. Most in most instances, I don't know that they've really been dated. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the domain is six thousand years dot org. I'm just gonna read the the first paragraph off the homepage for you. <clears throat> We are now just at 6,000 years since God created the heavens and the earth as measured by a clock on earth and in the last days before the seven years, near great tribulation and the return of Christ. Revelation clearly tells us that Jesus will return and reign right here on the earth, this earth for a thousand years directly after the tribulation and the outpouring of God's wrath. Genesis says God created the heavens and earth in six days and rested on the seventh. Sculptures also say that to God one day in like a thousand years. Oh, this part isn't scripted. This is okay. This is just what I wrote. Uh, one day is like a thousand. Oh, no, this is real. Okay. 
Scriptures also say that to God, one day is like a thousand years and 6,000 years like a single day. Many Christians believe God is telling us that each day of creation equates to 1,000 years and that the seventh day of rest represents the 1,000-year reign of Christ on earth. The 6,000 years of man's rule is nearly finished. Uh, is just like trying to prove to you that the Bible is is real for lack of a better word like i know it it exists but you know what i mean look 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 i i don't care what you believe in you can believe in god you can believe in nothing you can believe in the goddamn flying spaghetti monster for all i care it's just get that out of the way you're entitled to your beliefs that's fine just <clears throat> so on quote this one directly it's um uh on that site i'll have a link to that six thousand years dot org slash giants dot html uh, this one is called Irish Giants. This photo, link in the description, of a fossilized Irish giant was taken out at a London rail depot and appeared in the December ni- 1895 issue of Strand Magazine. The giant was allegedly dug up by Mr. Dreyer while prospecting for iron, iron ore in Ireland. <laughs> it was 12 feet 2 inches tall, weighed 2 tons, and had 6 toes on its right foot. After being exhibited in Dublin, it was brought to England and exhibited in Ling- Liverpool and Manchester at six pence a head, attracting scientific men as well as gaping sightseers. After a legal dispute over the ownership, nothing more appears to have ever no one nothing more appears to have been heard or seen of the exhibit. Only no, the right foot. Uh, maybe all of the toes were not there on the left foot, so you don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. That's all it said on that. Uh, there was another one, real quick. I just wanted to throw this in here. It's really, really good from that same website. Uh, this one's called uh, "A Living Giant" was sighted in a li- the little village of Buffalo. Oh, this one wasn't called that, but th- there's another story on here. It says, I'm just going to read this one again directly. So this is a quote from that 6,000years.org. A living giant was sighted in the little village of Buffalo Mills, Pennsylvania on August 19th, 1973. A man at least nine feet tall strode down the main street of the village, dressed in strange clothing, which appeared to be made of some sort of shimmering material. He gazed at the startled townspeople in a dark, penetrating way, then loped off casually into oblivion. It's hilarious. <laughs> Time traveling giants. Excellent. Uh, this website also had a lot about. Uh, I mean, Snope says this is false. I would take their word on that one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do an episode on the Smithsonian black hole, Connor. The Large Hadron Collider? <clears throat> I don't know, probably not. Uh, doing more giant stories. Yeah, you sure did, Connor. Okay. You said in 1912? So also in 1912, uh, the... I'm going to say Sitika, 
Uh, it's a legendary tribe whose remains were supposedly discovered in 1912 under four feet of bat shit by miners who, in what is today called the Lovelock, Lovelock Cave in Lovelock, Nevada, uh, the cave was Guano Cave, Horseshoe Cave, and Loud Site 18. Loud yeah, it's fucking rad. I wish we had that in the podcast. <sighs> it might be available. Uh, checking domain name now. Uh, from what I have read... Uh, they were said to be from six and a half to eight feet tall. Six again, six and a half is pretty large. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if I'd say giant. The the satika apparently means tool eaters. In the native language, tool is a fibrous water plant. Uh, it is said that quote in order to escape harassment from the patus. Pa- Paiutes, the the satikas uh, were said to live on rafts made of tool on the lake i'm not sure if that name was meant to be an insult to them because they were supposedly a cannibalistic race of red-haired giants who were at war with the local tribes i guess there was a particularly long altercation and several different groups of tribes <clears throat> uh, trapped them in a cave and the native tribes built a fire at the mouth of the cave and killed the satika i have read this possibly with Nathan brought it up in discord okay Yeah, supposedly, again, in 1812. I mean, I don't know if this photo is real is the thing, you know? Like, I, I don't know if it's in context. I can't really tell how big anything is. It's nothing to scale, you know? I think this is just a guy looking at stuff because there's... They found a lot of... Uh, there's like th- thousands of things, artifacts that were taken from the cave. There's um like this like these decoy ducks that are very famous. Um, I'm, I don't I don't have a specific photo. <clears throat> this is okay. Those are some big bones. I have a very short one from Tennessee I'm going to do real quick. So in his book, The Natural and Aboriginal History of Tennessee, author John Hayward describes, quote, very large bones in stone graves found in Williamson County, Tennessee in 1821 in White County. Oh, this might be a separate one. In White County, Tennessee, a, quote, ancient fortification contained skeletons of gigantic stature averaging at least seven feet in length. Seven foot average is pretty fucking good. But I guess we have three of them. One's eight and a half, one's seven, and one's six and a half. I think seven's your average, so. That's fine. I mean, so is ours. Let's be real. Insert Giorgio Sucolos meme here. I wish I would fuck. I would pay him for his likeness. Yo. Apparently, allegedly, the special forces came upon a cave where they noted strange patterns of rock, bones, and broken communication equipment. Broken communication equipment type used by the U.S. Army. Um, and according to a couple of anonymous members of the society, the Indian Tribe of the Lost Tribe, that they had a video on YouTube from Bruce Galena. They recall that the giant Angus was so near to the hidden cave where the men opened fire on the giant and they are wielding like 
or the giant is wielding a large spear and special sword force special forces use fifty caliber rifles, uh, standard M4s, carbine 308 sniper rifles, and uh, apparently it's fairly steady to go with the giant. Damn. No, not Dan. Dan. Not Dirty Dan. Which oh, one of you Dan. pinheads is Dirty Dan? Oh, no, it's not pinheads. It's the other one's Pinhead Larry. Damn it. So he speared someone named Dan. All right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I mean, that's a. It could be. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. I mean, that's the case with everything, too, though. You have to take it all with a grain of salt and just kind of see where you come out at the end. That's the, the part of the problem is not like really having evidence. To the Plum Island Animal Research Center. Maybe. It would have just walked to the front door. What do you mean? Just the sign that says exit. So he didn't bump his head. That shit sucks, dude. The just, dude, no, standing like I. Fucking this one! I stood up as I was walking out, and like almost, I thought I gave myself a concussion. It was bad. These doors are excessive. These doors are not tall. This one is not a tall door. I can measure it. Oh, yeah, you posted a picture of me online. Fuck. There's photos of me. I don't think there's any photos of me. Uh, but I think it's like linked to your Facebook, so there is a photo of you. Uh, whatever. So, yeah, I have this quick little uh, fun quote I'm taking from the next couple ones that I'm going to be reading as well. Um. I got all of this off of Graham Hancock's website, GrahamHancock.com. There will be a link to this one in the description as well. Um, this is uh, from this is other versions of the book uh, by Richard Dewhurst, uh, The American Giants Who Ruled America. Excuse me. The Ancient Giants Who Ruled America. Uh, but this quote was also on that page. Real quick, I'm going to throw in here. <clears throat> The eyes of that species of extinct giant whose bones fill the mounds of America have gazed on Niagara as ours do now. Abraham. Fucking bullshit. That's a meme, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you you want you? Uh, oh shit! I mean, he was alive in that time. I don't know that it's actually an Abraham Lincoln. I can't prove it one way or another. <laughs> All right, so again from this uh this the ancient giants who ruled America, uh there's sections on here so of coneheads and kings. I'm again I'm reading all of this right off of here. So quote The report shows quite clearly that the team uncovered numerous giants, one of which was seven feet six inches tall and decorated with six heavy copper bracelets on each wrist, and his shoulders with were on his shoulders were three large plates of mica. In another mound, they found a circle of ten skeletons surrounding a giant skeleton, as well as an un- as underground vaults, various copper and mica ornaments, religious items. Then, at a depth of nine feet, another giant skeleton was found in the remains of a bark coffin, and it was noted in the report that this giant had a skull which was of the compress- compressed or flat head type. 
In other words, the skeleton exhibited cone head characteristics similar to compressed or f uh, similar to those found in South America and Egypt. As digs progressed in other parts of the state, archaeologists in Wheeling, West Virginia, found another grouping of, of giants ranging in height from 6 feet 7 inches to 7 feet 6 inches and also displaying unusual skull formations with low foreheads that sloped back gradually. Quote, kind of the, the thing here. Um, while the back part of the head is very prominent, much more so than the skulls of people living today. Adjacent to these finds, an eight-mile wall and a hilltop temple were also found in Marshall County and Mount Carbon in the... And further down the Cheat River in 1774, settlers found what they dubbed, quote, the giant town, with numerous of gigantic skeletons, the most significant being that of an eight-foot-tall male. I have another one from this same one. I'm just going to hit right now, too. This section was titled, The White Giants, quote. Extremely ancient human remains have been found throughout New York State and New England that date back to at least 9,000 B.C. In a report from the Syracuse Herald American in 1983, anthropologists from the Buffalo Museum of Science, 1,400 artifacts were dug up from a site called Phoenix Hill in a county, his in a county historical report called, quote, A History of Livingston County, New York published in 1824, reported that in 1811, an Indian mound on Mount Morris, rude metals, pipes, and articles were uncovered in association with the remains of a giant, quote, of enormous size, the jawbone of which was so large that Adam Holds Holslander, Adam Holslander placed it mask-like over his own chin and jaw. In 1871, a newspaper reported from Cayuga, New York, Cayuga, New York, Cayuga, New York, reports that 200 skeletons were removed from a collapsed mound in the banks of Grand River. These skeletons were said to be in perfect state of preservation and that the men were of gigantic stature. Some of them measured nine feet, very few of them being less than seven feet. Later, the report notes that a lost city was found on a farm in Dunville, New York, in association with two tons of charcoal and various implements indicating the site of the ancient forge. Further digging revealed axes, tomahawks, beads, and several smoking pipes, some engraved with dog heads. 200 skeletons, most of them over seven feet. It's a pretty easy story to make up. I don't have phones. I, phones. I don't have photos for any of these. There's no. There's no pictures. Some of them are like a newspaper. I have evidence of some of them physically being in a newspaper. I don't have that for all of them. And even then, is, are you just sensationalizing an article? That's the thing. I mean, we already decided fake news has been around a lot longer than we thought. Like. Got some sediment on the bottom here. Make the last few drinks extra delicious, though. <clears throat> I believe that is all of them that I have down. What are we at? Fuck yeah. So, uh, I'm. there's a lot of very... God damn it, I have to... There's a lot of very like religious shit, but from your research, the Nephilim were about 4,500 feet tall, and I don't interpret like eight to ten foot skeleton. Thank you from me for uh, making my research a lot more difficult by copying and pasting the fucking same websites a hundred times over. Uh, <clears throat> if I had some fucking photos that I could be like, yeah, that's definitely not fake. Great. I think I mentioned earlier I fucking called somebody out on a YouTube video for posting shit. I think I called him a disgrace to the paranormal community. Uh, I, th I think, quote, the Raven. I mean, like, if I pull up images immediately. Ooh. I was going to say a lot of them i can immediately tell that they're faked but if this one is faked it was at least done pretty well so 
So this one, I'm going to read this one real quick on prepareforchange.net. I'm going to actively copying and pasting the link for this for the description. <clears throat> this is, there is a photo and allegedly videos, but there's a photo of this giant human skeleton found in a cave in Cow Knap Nam Cave. Yeah, it's in Thailand. I'm sorry. Uh, Skeleton of a giant discovered in November of 2017. This was made public a few months ago. Uh, this was posted February 22nd of 2019. The article is called A Killed by a Giant Horned Snake. So uh, the skeleton appears to have been battling a large horned serpent upon death. It is clearly visible, the giant skeleton with the serpents wrapped around it. The individual standing next to it is 5 feet 6 inches, so you can see how massive the thing was. You rarely hear about discoveries like this in mainstream media for <laughs> MSM <laughs> for a reason. How much knowledge and history have they kept from us? Giants are real, just like the Bible says. Ah, damn it, we're back here again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video of people like working with the bones. Like very large. Well, real quick. Nobody said the exact size of it on here, which I find odd because, I mean, it's kind of where I'm at when I look at, like, how good the bones look, but, like, it is, it is perfect. Like, it looks too good to be true, for sure. Oh god, I hate these fucking robot voices. Mm. So whatever it is is there. There is photos of it. There's videos of people walking up to it. It's j I am Fuck, you know. It certainly it looks too good is my problem. I and I, I feel like I'm being like way too skeptical about this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so uh, April 12th, 2019, an individual named Adam posted on here. So I wanted this to be true and real, and I'm in Krabi now, 20 minutes from the cave, eager to explore. Talking with locals, though, who said the whole thing was part of a, quote, factual art exhibition where the art was disguised as something factual and real. The skeleton was taken to a building for exhibition where other, uh, where other installations included upside-down trees and ver there is an inner earth with... But, uh, but perhaps this one in Thailand is just a theft. So, <sighs> yes. I agree with that. That's where I'm at, too. He supposedly was close by going to go there, and locals were telling him this. <sighs> Again, where I'm at is it, it looks so good. Oh, my God. I didn't even see parts of the snake that were tangled around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's no way. A horned snake? Well, look at a horned serpent real quick. Because that would be a big-ass snake. Horned, that's the name of it, specifically. Oh my god, are they not real? I typed in horned serpent size and it's just Harry Potter shit everywhere. Uh, so it appears in mythologies. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I'm mad now. That's why I didn't... That's why this one didn't come up before. Ah, shit. The photo looked really good. It fucking pulled me in because I, I just pulled up photos um, as we were talking about, like, in, in conclusion kind of shit, you know? Um, I have a photo for that one, the uh, Irish giant as well. Man, I'm just I'm having a really hard time believing that any of this is. You know, I have no scale in a photo, so I can't really tell. Like, yeah, it looks like their legs are pretty long, but it also, you know, it's it's hard to say. But 
what I am going to say is that I don't not buy this. I don't see why there couldn't be like a species that just happened to be taller that existed. And I, I mean, I, we know that smaller species, humanoid species existed and people fucking killed the shit out of them. And I don't, I mean, I don't think they're around anymore, so I don't know. I don't know if they can be offended. Oh, oh, zing. Okay. Shots fired. So I'm not opposed to this, like having been a thing. I don't think like, obviously a Cyclops, you know what I'm not like that. We didn't really talk about that, but I don't think that that's, and you have shit that's born with one eye and that's actually a deformity. I like goats where they have just one eye in the fucking middle. Like that shit happens too. And I guess if, I don't know, but sure this this could be a thing i don't think there's like giants actively around unless it's in a cave maybe fuck let's think about that how many there's a lot of like caves that people don't know about as well like they just exist and people have no idea that they're there or like entrances to caves that you don't know are there or there's shit that's like been closed up for a ton of time or you keep going further in it. It's a, yeah, you know, it's like, cool. There's this thing that's here. There were like this operation was, but like you could continue down that, but like it's the mind's closed off now or whatever. Like, I don't know. There's, uh, yeah. Maybe we evolved out of dwelling from underground living people. who like on top of the ground. I'm so terrified of going down in a cave. Like I love the idea of it, but I'm I'm way too big. I'm gonna get stuck in some stupid crack. Or I'm gonna fall and break my back and fucking starve to death. Like I watched uh, something on like a fucking supernatural life documentary. They took like a group of all down to the thing and like had to shimmy through this part. Like it's just right over here. Like all la di da. Like they got to the end and it was like magnificent. But I'm just like just like having a panic. Also, also the rocks can move. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not about that. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, and it's like I get like a lot of things could just go wrong any day, anyway. Origin for that myth. Oh. Excuse me, that uh, <clears throat> not necessarily myth, but it's been a hot minute since I've seen him. Uh, so- oh no, 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 maybe met him once. I thought you were talking about a different. Yeah, I maybe met him once or twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> back to it what are you thinking then you think it's an alien race <clears throat> okay so now you're talking about like the Anunnaki and shit I don't really want to start doing this too much right now because that's like we're pretty far in, but that's another that, fucking if I had to pick what, you know, it would be that one that one's at least the most exciting I, I would put that as the most exciting what, what's the most exciting oh I would say that one is the most exciting oh. as opposed to like <laughs> maybe humans evolving from very tall well, or just a different offshoot, like a subspecies yeah, yeah. that split a long time ago, and there was just like so. Then you you know that there's these um, like uh, mass extinction events where populations dwindle and humanities dwindle down a lot of times to very small numbers, and then come back from that. Yeah, but like if you're isolated in that sort of thing too, and if it had happened beforehand, if there's already that thing that exists and then it's also isolated and dwindles down and doesn't bounce back the same way 
I assume it's bigger, like it would have to carry pregnancy longer. There'd probably be more risks associated with that as well. Oh no, I'm I'm into that shit. I love it. But I think if I had to have a realistic capture all for all of those giant balls and shit, it would be like sea formations, like huge families, or it'd be like a small little population that is maybe even exiled from the normal high people. Like there you go, Greeks. It's like crazy. They put lepers in fucking pits. Like yeah, what's, what's the it's on an island. Send prisoners to Australia. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What's up, Australia? I would love to go to Australia. I tell you, I showed you the picture of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. Okay. Did he get mad at you? I'm reading. What do you want from me? Parenting 101. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can't leave him where he has no idea what's going on, you know. You got to start from the beginning. Exactly. I got you. No, I'm th- I, I don't see why this couldn't just have been something that existed. I don't know that all of them were the same everywhere. Um, it seems like there might, maybe there was a few different ones or there was some different, I mean, there's definitely different tribes, different groups of them, but it's just a matter of if they like genetically are different. There there seems to be a lot of height variation too. I don't know. I mean, I think you had, when we were talking beforehand, you had talked about some Egyptian woman that was six foot eight, which you didn't really seem to think is that tall. But then we're talking about the time, like the average height for a woman in that time period was roughly five one. I mean, a solid foot and a half taller is is pretty significant. Again, I don't know if this is some sort of gigantism or deformity or just like for whatever reason, just really fucking tall. But I, I, I don't see why that wouldn't exist. Or like, you know, people today who are born really, really tall, if they then, like you said, are exiled from the community for whatever reason, because they're the way they are or something. Also, I don't know. Oh. So that makes a lot of sense when we think about, you know, not being able to control the growing like we do now. Like I'm sure there's some so like so growing doesn't get out of your hand. No, I think there's I, I mean it, you can definitely die from it. Like that's the thing that kills people and like right. I, I imagine also it would be harder like so again, say you're exiled from your community for being the way that you are then you now have to fend for yourself, but also you require like eating more than somebody else because you're just still continuously growing and just that kind of shit too. You need, you're using way more energy to do everything that you do because your legs are so much like, there's so much more bone density as well, or not necessarily density, but like there's physically more bone. Like you have, it's bigger, man. Like it requires more work. I don't know. This it does not seem far fetched to me that this could be a thing, and I think I've agreed to things that seem way more far fetched. So I'm I'm on board. I don't. I can't really say one word. I can't really say one word. If I think that like they're actually real, like I know that people exist that are over eight feet tall, just like regular people. Uh, not really. I mean, what do you, I I don't understand why, because that's, it's like, cool, we discovered a different offshoot of Homo sapien or something that was two feet taller and had, like, we know of, you you have Neanderthal, like, that's not the same thing, you know, it's just a a, a Denisovan, is that a time period or is that a fucking thing? (laughs) Uh, 
or then we talk about Gigantopithecus earlier and some of that shit too. So uh, it's evolution. That's where I'm at. God, I saw a bunch of fucking. I just got back from uh, Virginia, and on my way back, I saw a I believe it was in Illinois, maybe Indiana. I think it was Indiana. There was a bunch of like like two billboards in a row that were like like anti-evolution billboards that triggered the shit out of me. It was just uh, it read in the beginning God created dot dot dot, and then there was like there's like <laughs> there's like the little evolution symbol you know where it's like monkeys and then like a man and there's like a circle around it and then, if you don't think it's Bigfoot let us know why if you think it's Bigfoot let us know why it's a just a big hairy man I don't know I don't know you sent me like four. Was another one one that somebody just like posted on there, like a comment or? Yeah, it's kind of a review in comment form. Okay. So, well, let me start with the, the recommendation. I guess it's not a review. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. We'll accept those as well. Do you just want to redo this whole thing? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not not sure we're deserving of that, but uh we'll we'll take it and run with it. Holy shit, thank you. Uh we are this has been our biggest month ever as in terms of downloads. So yeah, continuous growth, let's go. Oh, you sent me another one, dog. Yeah, where the fuck did it go? Oh, he... And he found exactly what it was called and everything. Uh, and the uh, a quick one, or or just post some information again. Like right now, I'm just kind of directing people to like that that brief segment in that MU podcast. Um, yeah. Or you could uh, head over to Discord and uh, thank Sean. Yes. What? No, 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 I have it right here. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Let me go back to my message. So I don't know if this was like a message to you or what it is from Michael. So it says just now the settings. It looks like you have Facebook up on here, unless it was on Instagram. This one? No, it's not. It says just now. It all says it's just now. Michael, first of all, I want to say you guys cracked me up. I stumbled across the podcast while searching for other cryptids. What? Oh, uh, the 25th of June. First of all, I wanted to say you guys cracked me up. I stumbled across the podcast while searching for... All right, so this is Connor, and I am recording this in post, unfortunately. But I have the Instagram poll that we forgot to mention, uh, which is why I'm here. So we asked on Instagram, are you afraid of giant redheads? with a picture of Jacob standing by a small door. A whopping 59% voted no. They are not afraid of giants like Jacob. 
Um, I was honestly expecting a little bit more of a split. Like, I, I saw no taking it away by quite a bit. But, alas, I guess I'll let you uh, get back on to our regularly programmed program. Our regularly, you know, back to the program. Prog- other cryptid podcasts, so I decided to download an episode and give it a try. I'm glad I did because now I have binge listening to them while at work. I work in aerospace. I wasn't able to give a review on Google Music, so I decided to do it here. Thank you for doing that. Aerospace? Yeah, what? Bro. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. All right. Rad. That's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you want to leave any reviews or uh, Facebook recommendation stuff, facebook.com slash county cryptids, wherever you listen. Apparently there's... uh, I don't know if you can do it on Spotify. And scene. I think that's when the scene's ending. Yeah. Stage freeze. Don't say stage freeze, just do it. Are you aware of that reference? No. Sunny Philadelphia. I haven't the seen that Day one. Man the Dayman? I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, where Charlie writes the play? Oh, maybe. It's been a long time. <laughs> Quality. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I might watch. The show's good. There's another one, a newer one. It's like, the gang turns black and they, just, like, they go to sleep or they like, get electrocuted or something and wake up and like everybody else sees them as like like Frank's like young and like attractive and then I think it was like Dennis was just like super super fat it was really, it's really <laughs> funny <laughs> welcome to I Counting Cryptids how are wow we were gonna try and do a not awkward one this time uh, I'm Jacob that's Connor. hi uh, this is season 2 episode 11 I believe yes uh Today we're talking about giants. Yeah, that now you know. But you read the, you read the episode. Yeah, story. hopefully. Well, I, I mean, maybe not. Maybe some people like it a surprise. I never read episode descriptions. I like maybe read the name sometimes. Oh, I, I have like podcasts. I read I the name for sure. And I'm just like, cool, click it. Like I just uh-huh. stay up to date with them most of the time. Uh, we have an Instagram poll. Oh yeah, yeah. Before we get into the meat of the episode, you have live to on Instagram right now while we're recording this episode. Are you afraid of giant redheads? Yes or no? Let us know on social media. It's a picture of Jacob standing by a very large door, but he still looks larger. I am in fact larger than that door. Jacob is a giant. Thanks for listening to Counting Cryptids. See you in two weeks. I'm I'm tall. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little bit, a little bit, a bit on the tall side. I'm not even that tall. Yeah, you're really. T- I'm, 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 I'm kind of big. I'm normal. I'm no- average. I'm f- like five eight. Jacob is six four, so I'm just a little bit to me he's pretty tall, but like he's not like freakishly I, I tall. Not, I would not describe myself as a giant. Like I look really tall standing next to people that are shorter than me. Yeah. All right, so this is Connor, and I am. Recording this in post, unfortunately, but so so is mine. Yes, my my wife is short compared to me, which is very short. Yeah, he just towers over the other guys that are like six four. Like whoop from the three point line, his arm is fucking halfway there. No joke. (laughs) Michael Jordan. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was a joke, man. I thought this was some CGI shit. Predicting twenty nineteen. Fuck. Well, let's. I mean, other than freakishly tall human beings, what are giants? Well, real quick, make sure you're following us over on that Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So you can get in on the polls when we are recording uh, episodes. Uh, also, this comes out on the Fourth of July. Oh, happy Fourth of July, Americans! Happy Fourth of July, Americans! Uh, we're gonna have put another poll uh, on social media this week. Are we? Okay. Yes, we are. It's gonna be what is the most American cryptid. Oh, we were supposed to do that for this episode. Yeah. So by the end of the episode, Connor, I need you to tell me what you think the most American In my defense, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> Fuck, that's what I was going to go with. 
okay. <laughs> which okay, it, it, it loosely ties to giants. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you want to do this now, why why is Bigfoot the most American cryptid? I don't. I don't if you think of cryptids in America, I just I just think of Bigfoot. It's I think it's one of the most widespread, commonly known cryptids. If you say cryptids and they're like, "What's a cryptid?" and you go Bigfoot, and they're like, "Oh." Fuck yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose. What else do you got? Dover Demon. I got Mothman. I mean, Mothman's a good one, but I don't. I think it's a little further out there than Bigfoot. It's just not on the the front of the headlines often to normal people. I suppose it's quite often in my newsfeed. I don't know what normal people do. The jackalope is that? A, that's a pretty American one. Thunderbird's a good one. Uh, I, I feel like that's more like Native American. Yeah. I would not modern human being and Native people. Shit. It's fucking Bigfoot. I really wanted there to be something else, so I don't know. If you have something, I mean, there'll be a poll. You can tell us in the comments how stupid we are for missing this most obvious American cryptid, but Bigfoot. Write your rude comments below. Uh, so maybe... But we have to make a poll out of we need to redo this. Where we, we can do to... like a we can do a fill in like we everything is pulled. We can okay, we so, can switch it up. So we could there's those fill in the box things we could do. I did not realize that was an option. Okay, hundred so percent. We're gonna post a poll on social media this week asking what the most American cryptid is. Do we do that on Wednesday? The most American cryptid is. We just have a fill in so you can it'd be on Thursday when the release is. I don't know. We can we can do it earlier. It's not a big deal. I think we should do it earlier. It can be up for a week. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's on Facebook. It's just there. It's whatever. Yeah. But yeah, go let us know on social media what you think the most American cryptid is. Um, do you want to talk about that now, or do you want to wait until the end? Talk about American cryptids? Yes. What about them? Didn't we just talk about American cryptids? It didn't really. I don't know. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. If you want to get your two cents in, answer this week's polls on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, as well as Discord. Links for all the social media, as well as everything else we talked about on the show, are available at gobblesquatch.com. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or you just want to chat, you can email us at kenencryptids at hotmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and tell your friends. I've been Connor. I've been Jacob. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks for another fascinating installment of Counting Cryptids.